is done. But yesterday a king, and all good kings to strive, and now thou art a nameless thing, so abject. Yet alive, is this the man of thousand rows, who stood our earth with her stale bones, and can he thus survive? Since he miscalled the morning star, nor man nor fiend had fallen so far. Ill-minded man, why scourge thy kind to bow so low beneath? By gazing on thyself, grow blind, thou taught the rest to see. to save thine only gift had been the grave to those that worship thee nor till thy fall could mortals guess ambitious less than littleness things for that lesson will teach to after warriors more than high philosophy can reach and vainly preach before that spell upon the minds of men breaks never to unite again that led them to a god those things of things of safer sway with one so rest <laughs> okay the triumph and the vanity, the rapture of the strife, the earthquake voice of victory. Today the breath of life, we sought, we scepter, and that's way, which was in vain but to obey, where we renown was rife. Oh, well, dark spirit, what must be the madness? Of thy memory, the desolator, desolate, the lector, overthrow, the arbiter of Adam's fate, the suppliant for his own. Some yet imperial hope that with such change can calmly cope, or dread of death alone to die a prince or live a slave. Thy choice is most ignobly brave. at length, and darker fate has found. He fell before us for us pray, but thou must eat thy heart away. The Roman, when his burning heart was snaked with blood of Rome, threw down the dagger, dared depart, Savage grander home. He dare depart in utter scorn of men that such a yoke had borne, yet that him such a doom. His only glory was that hour of self upheld, and 
spending power. The Spaniard, when the lust of sway had lost its quickening spell, cast crowns for rosaries away, an empire for a cell. A strict accountant of his beads, a subtle disputant on creeds, his dotage trifled well. Yet better had he neither known a bigger shrine nor this for shown. Thy mightiest foes, their fair in humblest guise shall show. Oh, ne'er may tyrant be behind a brighter name to rule mankind. My nickel deeds are written gore, nor written thus in vain. Thy triumphs tell of fame no more, or deep and every stain. If thou hadst died as honor dies, some new Napoleon might arise to shape the world again. But who would soar the solar height to set in such a starless night? are just to all that pass away. But yet, we thought the living great, some higher sparks should animate to dazzle and dismay. Nor did contempt could thus make mirth of this, the conquerors of the earth. Torturing hour, still cling she to thy side. Must she too bend? Must she too share thy late repentance, long despair? Thou throneless homicide, if still she loves thee, for the gem, tis worth thy vanished diadem. 
and haste thee to thy sullen night and gaze upon the sea. That element may meet thy smile, it ne'er was ruled by thee or traced with thine own idle hand in loitering mood upon the sand. That earth is now as free That Corinth's pedagogue Had now transferred his byword to thy brow Thou, Timer, in his captive cage What thoughts will there be thine While brooding in thy prison rage But one, the world was mine Unless like he of Babylon All senses with thy scepter gone Life will not long confine the spirit for so wide before. So long the page, so little worth. Oh, like the heat of fire from heaven, will thou withstand the shock and share with him the unforgiven, his vulture and his rock? By God, by men, a curse and the last act, though not the worst, but it is sad. Oh. He in his fall preserved his pride, and if a mortal had as proudly died. <laughs> Unsated to resign, had been an echo of your fame, then gathers on Marengo's name, and he will die decline through the long twilight of all time, despite some passing clouds of crime. But thou for soon must be a king and don the purple vest as if that ghoulish robe could ring remembrance to thy breast where is that faded garment where the cubos thou art fond to wear the star the string the crest vain forward child of empire say are all thy playthings snatched away Of the West, men be dead of hate. 